As we know, during a race, riders burn a huge amount of energy. So they can't actually start the day with enough food or drink on their bikes or in their pockets to sustain them for the day. So they have to take on a lot extra. During the stage, as we probably know, domestiques drop back to the team cars and pick up extra bottles, extra food as riders need. But this feed zone is an opportunity to get in bulk a load more stuff. And it's not just bars and gels. As we'll see in a moment, there's some more interesting stuff as well. From a rider's perspective, this is a really good feed zone. Because it's on a slight uphill drag, the overall speed of the peloton is going to be much lower, so it's much easier to feed, much easier to grab your bag. You actually often hear of accidents in the feed zones, even though pro bike riders can handle their bikes better than anyone, actually grabbing musettes with the whole peloton trying to get bags. It's actually quite a dangerous thing. So actually, quite frequently, you do get accidents in the feed zone. And it's rare that they're major, but every now and then, like Fabian Cancellara in the Tour of Flanders last year, you do get a big rider that comes down in the feed. And what is a musette in the first place? Basically, a really light cloth bag with a long handle that can go over the head and the shoulder. Each team has two soigneurs in the feed zone who split the bags between them. They wear team kit so they can easily be spotted by the riders. The soigneurs will already have phoned ahead to the team cars so they can tell them roughly where they're standing in the feed zone and then that information can be passed on to the riders via their radios. When a rider takes a musette, they look to grab it just above the bag so they don't end up with this great big pendulum swinging around. The musette then goes over the head and the shoulder. Where the rider has got what they need, they chuck the musette, leaving it for souvenir hunters. So what is in the musette? We asked around some of the teams and it's surprisingly similar. Bottle and mix. Is it another bottle of mix? Yes. Another bottle of mix. Then we've got a selection of Cliff products. We've got two gels. Is that right? Two gels. Yeah. Shot blocks. A Luna bar. Is that slightly savoury? Uh, no, that one isn't. A whole nutrition bar for women, which is uh, important. I like slight that one. Cliff bar. Small can of Coke. Now you can buy these in Italy in some shops. Excellent. And then rice cake. Garmin Sharp are famous for their rice cakes. And it's also specially folded so the guys can easily get it out. That goes in as well. Yeah, we have some special cakes like uh, rice cake, apple, apple pie, and choco cake. And Is that something that you guys make yeah, like in the make, team? Yeah, we okay. make it every morning. And then we have some gels, bars energy bars and then we have drinks usually one water one uh, say x it's yeah an energy drink and so that's three different four different cakes yeah so team sky ride on cake yeah <laughs> bottle of isotonic mix yeah. bottle of water can of coke two homemade rice cakes a star and a star Energy bar, two gels. As you can see, it's pretty chaotic for the riders. It's also pretty chaotic at the back of a convoy. You see that anyone who's missed a musette, the soigneurs will give them to the team cars so that the food is then on board and not just going back to the bus where it's wasted. They also, quite sweetly, make the, the uh, DS's sandwiches and they can then pass them through the window as well. You'll see now the soigneurs are absolutely legging it into the cars and that's because they've got a race against time to get to the finish before the riders do. Otherwise, they're gonna get stuck because they've got a job to do on the finish line. This one, Team Car 1, follows the top riders all day. That one, Team Car 2, sits in the second half of the convoy, except if there's a breakaway featuring an Omega Pharma Quickset rider, at which point that one goes to the front of the bunch 